Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, everything that I used was from the drugstore. They were all hard candy. And if it was not hard candy, it was BH Cosmetics. I use hard candy mostly for my eyes and my lips. There was a little pencil that came with the hard candy palette. This little thing right here. This thing will blind you. Um, yeah, so after I almost blind myself, I just didn't bother to use it. So I went back to use the um the coal eyeliner pencil by hard candy uh my mascara was by sephora because i could not find a hard candy mascara in the drugstore that i would like so yeah um i will have everything in a picture so you could see it um yeah so thank you for watching my sh channel um please like share and subscribe if you want to see any other uh, makeup videos please leave them in the comments below i will have everything i use in the description box below also um the top i'm wearing is a citizen of toronto top the um you could purchase this at t.apparel.com the necklace is from forever 21 my earrings were a gift from my mom and my wig is from my local beauty supply store which is Feliz Beauty in Etobicoke. Um, but yeah, that's it for this channel. If you like this look again, please let me know what other looks you'd like to see and what other products you'd like me to try in the comment box below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.
Hey guys, so we're going to get a little bit up close and personal. Um, as you've seen in the video, I do not have any transition colors within the palette. Within the palette, the hard candy palette, all it had was all shimmer colors and a few um, uh, dark colors and a bunch of light colors that I really can't use. So I ended up using my my MAC um, customized uh, eyeshadow pen that I bought where I put these four colors in here as transitional colors for myself and I mainly use these two and this one on my eyes so I use this one on the outer part of my eye and brought it in a little bit and I use these two as transition shade this is a transition shade and this as a crease shade um, out of the hard candy palette I did use the dark purple right here as the base for this shimmer purple right here uh, it's very pigmented I will show you what it looks like and that is a swatch and that's the matte purple and I'm gonna go in with the shimmer purple and put it right here so this wasn't very pigmented alone on the eye therefore I used my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day uh, setting spray in coconut and sprayed a little bit on my fat brush to get that look that you're seeing right here now I also used the um, skin my hands I also used the hard candy liquid liner it is the stroke of gorgeous felt tip eyeliner with lash enhancing serum and it is in the shade anchor I used it and it was good I liked the way it went on easy to apply didn't start to break up or anything I also used the uh, hard candy blackest black in line liner it has the liner at the end right here and then it has the smudge Ugh. okay uh, let's try that again it has the smudge tip at the end to help smudge out the line um, I did not use the little pen well I tried to use the little pencil that came in the kit it is the hard candy take me out liner oh, bra this thing is look look i ain't trying to go blind okay i wear contacts as it is i'm not trying to go blind so i didn't use it it is hard as a rock just saying um i did also use from the hard candy line this velvet mousse matte lip color which i showed you the swatch off earlier um, it came in this really cute packaging and I really like the packaging so that's what it came in it has just a little thing in here to put it back in like this so it's very travel friendly it won't get on anything because it comes with its own piece and it plays this is in the number 1074 and it is the tulip Damn, it's like way up in that tulip it's all the way up here the color is tulip in 1074 and it is their hard candy velvet mousse um, matte lip color also from the hard candy line and the last thing that I got from the hard candy line because everything else was not in my shade apparently in my ghetto Walmart I got the Hard Candy Just Glow Rose Gold Highlighter. Uh, it is number 1307. And that's on the back right there. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to swatch this part. It's so ashy though. So it didn't even come off fully on my cheeks. See? What I did was I put it on and realized it didn't come off fully so I sprayed the Gerard Cosmetics Lay all day I set me spray all over my face then I applied it again and I'm gonna go with this shade 
this shade right here. And put it right here. And that's didn't even show up. Vanished. It vanished. Okay. Alright. So that's what I use. Um, 